Greetings folks, I have some interesting bits and pieces from Fly Sky to show you today uh, to go with the Paladin PL18 and the FSI6. First thing, I got myself a Fly Sky neck strap, which is great. I mean, I don't have to use the opposition's neck straps to demonstrate these radios and uh, uh, components. First off, I have the FTR4, four channel receiver for the Paladin. PL18, that's AFHDS3 protocol. This receiver can do IBUS plus four channels plus PPM. It has a separate battery pin set uh, and the four channels as well. Separate set of pins for binding and a separate set of pins for IBUS. Really nice, neat, tiny little receiver. And I also have all the FlySky sensors telemetry sensors which is great i love playing with telemetry sensors we have a altitude sensor there so that's the fs uh, cat01 altitude sensor uh, the fs ctm01 temperature sensor the fs cvt01 voltage sensor external voltage for your lipo and a couple of uh, rpm sensors this is the fs cpd02 optical sensor uh, that one comes with some reflective tape that you put on the whatever you want to record the uh, RPM of. And we have the magnetic uh, RPM sensor. So this one you need to put a magnet on whatever you're going to record. All of these sensors will work with the AFHDS3 protocol and the AFHDS2A protocol. So both of these radios you can use the sensors with. All right, let's, uh, let's have a, a closer look. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of how it works with the FSI-6. So receiver, we need an IBUS capable receiver, so we've got the I6AB. I'll plug 5 volts in, power it up, you can see it's bound like that. So we have the temperature sensor here, uh, and all we do is plug the cable into the sensor side of the IBUS. It's that one there, and you can see the temperature shows up on the screen, and we have a a nice 20 degree spring day in Australia. Let's uh, see if we can heat it up a little bit by holding onto the sensor a bit. So that's heating up a little bit. I've got my other, uh, other hand, 22, 23 degrees Celsius. So that's very, very simple, just plug and play. Now the good thing about these sensors is you can just daisy chain another one off it. So what else can we do? Let's do the voltage sensor. Plug that one in as well. And we get external voltage. Voltage 3 automatically shows up. Let's find a battery to plug the probes into. Make sure you get the polarity the correct way around. So that's negative and that's positive. And we get um, it's a 2S battery, fully charged. So we're getting 8.25 volts and current temperature is 21 degrees. So that is so easy. Uh, I also have the probably the most useful of all sensors, I think, for gliding is the altitude sensor. This one doesn't seem to work with the uh, stock firmware on this radio. I think you need to do a, a firmware upgrade before you can get uh, altitude, uh, pressure, and even the vario beeps as well. But uh, that just shows how sort of quick and easy, simple it works. So let's have a look at, uh, I'll just unplug them and show you what the stock, unplug the sensors and we go back to the original transmitter voltage and error messages. Very nice. So let's have a look at the PL18. Alright, so the little uh, four channel FTR4 kind of works the same way really. Uh, I've bound it up to this model here. Plug my battery in. Get a red light here and we get uh, signal strength showing on the screen. Oh, I've chosen different sensors on there actually. Uh, if we look at the sensors, we get transmitter voltage, receiver voltage, signal strength, RSSI, signal to noise ratio and noise. They are all the, the uh, that's all the telemetry coming directly from the uh, receiver. Now if we plug in, say, the temperature sensor. So we plug it into the IBUS here. We should see temperature sharp here now so there's sensor number two ID number two 
19.7 degrees and let's just keep daisy chaining more of them on we've got uh, voltage as well external voltage has popped up and I'll plug that into a battery and we have 8.5 volts there that's pretty cool so we've got temperature external voltage let's just keep going now we can plug the altitude in daisy chain that one off the voltage sensor and there's the altitude added to the list we've got three meters and we also get air pressure there as well let's do optical speed and I can demonstrate this uh, for you in a little while on a plane now we've added motor speed there getting quite a full list of sensors here now so there's the little optical sensor there and we just stick a little bit of this reflective tape on whatever we're recording what you can do is choose which sensors display in this uh, home screen here. We go to the sensors setup. There it is there. Choose which sensors you're going to show. Uh, and we want RSSI on number one. Uh, voltage. Uh, high and low alarm values. Altitude choose uh, air pressure we can choose altitude or air pressure so we'll go for altitude go back to the home screen and there we have signal strength external voltage altitude and motor speed showing in sensors all right so let's uh, show you how the speed works so I have the little FT4R set up on the uh, Ranger G2 there's the uh, optical speed sensor I have the little probe sitting up here near the propeller and I have a little bit of silver of that silver provided tape just on uh, the propeller there like that so that will optical sensor will pick up that every time it flashes past so let's have a look uh, now let's have a look at so now keep your eye on that RPM reading there and we'll see it change as we that's very interesting that's the first time I've seen an RPM reading that's um, that's quite quite useful I think now I'm going to check out the temperature sensor I have the temperature gauge sitting on the video transmitter here uh, so I'll plug it in and have a look at we can get rid of the reflections so we can watch the temperature here and I'll plug the video transmitter in video transmitter is on temperature is starting to climb now reasonably slowly yeah it's creeping up 22.7 22, 23 let's leave it for a while and see how hot it actually gets a couple of minutes on we're up to 35, 36 degrees so it's a really useful little tool so these sensors are basically totally plug and play you just plug them in decide which ones you want to show on the screen we can show all of them if we want to all the ones that are connected or available work with AFHDS 2A and AFHDS 3 uh, very nice good fun stuff to play with this is just to give you a demonstration of one of the alarms I have the voltage alarm connected but not connected to a battery and the voltage is below uh, my low voltage alarm setting Now if I plug it in, it should go away. There we go, we have voltage now. And that will actually be above my 
uh, high voltage. I have to set that up. Should be right now because that's within range. We're in a 2S battery, got 8.25 volts, uh, so that's working well. So there you go, there's a quick demonstration of the new FT4R 4-channel AFHDS3 receiver and the altitude sensor, voltage sensor, temperature sensor, optical speed and magnetic speed sensors. Great gear, very easy to use, just plug and play from FlySky. Thanks for watching.